long stretch of cold, putting the hurt on homeless shelters, struggling to help people out. In today's snapshot across America, we look at how shelters in three southern cities are coping with all of this. Martha Kegel is with Unity of Greater New Orleans. Vince Smith is with Way Center in Atlanta. And Cliff Treadway works for the Nashville Rescue Mission. Thanks to all three of you for being with us this morning. And also thanks for what you do. A, a very, very important job. Martha, I want to uh, start with you, if I could. How big of an increase in clientele have seen as of late? Well, since Hurricane Katrina, we have seen almost a doubling of homelessness in New Orleans. And uh, the problem is particularly challenging because we have thousands of people living in New Orleans, 61,000 abandoned buildings called of Hurricane Katrina. And the job of getting to them this week is just overwhelming. We have crews of outreach workers who are entering uh, abandoned buildings in the middle of the night mm. trying to pull people out. It's very difficult, very labor-intensive work. And yeah. uh, we don't have enough shelter for them. Yeah, boy, understood. Um, and we're also hearing uh, reports this morning because of the cold temperatures there. Uh, the city basically shut down state buildings, uh, everything. Oh, that and budget cuts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what's next? Um, I know that you have sort of a whole SWAT team out there that, that tries to help these people out um, so that no one freezes to death. I mean, that's exactly what you guys say. Um, how are they actually going out and, and trying to find the people who are not coming to the homeless shelters? Well, we comb the streets and uh, find people in every gully, every alley, every piece of woods, every, every doorstep. But uh, the really difficult and challenging work beyond that is going into abandoned buildings. And so uh, we have outreach workers who enter those buildings during yeah. the night. They climb through windows. Uh, they, they find any opening they can to go in. And about one out of every five abandoned buildings that we enter have uh, people in them. It's just alarming. Wow. Wow. All right, Martha, thanks for that. Uh, Vince, uh, you are here in Atlanta, the Gateway Center. Tell us a little bit about what you're seeing. We've had a 20% increase in the bonds because of the cold weather. Hmm. We also, in Atlanta, have had outreach teams out with a number of partners, agencies that are out in the daytime as well as in the evenings. Uh, bringing folks in. The Gateway Center uh, operates some transportation operations that to bring folks uh, to the Gateway Center. We're putting down mats. We've had wonderful community support with blankets and gloves and hats and uh, linens. Yeah, but do you have enough space? Uh, actually, we're, we're sort of like uh, at grandmother's house with uh, all of your cousins. We're just putting down mats uh, next to each other and uh, we have We've had plenty of floor space mm -hmm. uh, for those who have needed to come in from the cold. Yeah, and are you also finding that there are people out there who, who are resistant to, to coming and getting shelter even in these cold temperatures? Tragically, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, there are individuals who think they can sort of tough it out. Uh, our outreach workers are skilled and trained and make uh, every effort to encourage folks to uh, come with them and come to the Gateway Center or other uh, shelter community. Yeah, boy. Uh, Cliff, what about you? What are you seeing there in Nashville? Uh, we're seeing capacity. I mean, we've got nearly a thousand beds, and uh, at this point, we've got people in our uh, overflow areas and uh, and people, uh, you know, sleeping in chairs in our day room. And and uh, tragically, more women and children. Uh, th that trend just continues to grow, even uh, uh, beyond just this cold, uh, the cold weather. But it's uh, it's tragically bad right now. Yeah, and Martha sort of alluded to it, but I imagine, you know, again, we're talking with all of you because you were in these southern cities that just really aren't used to the cold temperatures, especially uh, for this long. So, Cliff, uh, how are you finding the funding for this? I mean, is there room in the state budget for for exactly what you do? Well, actually, uh, you know, we, we've been around for 55 years, and we've never taken a dime from the government and, mm. and don't intend any money from the government anytime soon. Huh. Uh, so we, we rely on uh, on individuals and organizations to support us and, and be being in Nashville, I mean, there's more churches per square mile in Nashville than any other city in the world. So, you know, we're, we're fortunate to be in a charitable community that uh, when, when we blame the need, uh, Nashville rallies behind, uh, behind the work. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I want to go around the circle real quickly and, and ask you guys specifically for people who may be watching today uh, what exactly they can do. I mean, is it just money, donations, or I mean, can they help you uh, physically in some way? Martha, first to you. Well, cash donations are what we really need because we need to pay for additional emergency shelter. Um, but in addition to that, we need blankets. 
because there are a lot of mentally ill people who just will not come yeah. in. For them, uh, if we just can't get them in and we can't get them committed to the hospital, then we um, have to give them blankets and coats. So we're, we're accepting donations like that. Okay, very good, from New Orleans. And then in Atlanta, Vince? Uh, the same, uh, donations are uh, helpful as well as blankets and coats, uh, uh, linens, gloves, hats, those kinds of things, uh, and food. We, we've had wonderful response for people in the community bringing meals to the Gateway Center that we can share with folks. Terrific, terrific. All right, and Cliff? Uh, I, we've got a list of items on, on our website at NashvilleRescueMission.org, but uh, uh, ours are the same as, uh, as, as theirs. Uh, underwear and socks, that's something that uh, most people don't uh, uh, attach to the homeless uh, yeah. you know, cause. And through a lot of underwear and socks uh, you know, during this time frame. Yeah. All right. Well, again, thanks to all of you for being here this morning and also for what you do. Martha Kago with the Unity of Greater New Orleans, Vince Smith with Gateway Center in Atlanta, and Cliff Treadway with the Nashville Rescue Mission. Thanks again, guys. Jobless figures still in the double digits. So how is Wall Street weathering this latest economic storm? We're checking on the markets.